Okay, best pizza ever. Oh, easy. Last summer, snack stand at the skateboard park. The pepperoni pineapple palooza. I ate the whole thing myself. Best soccer play. Second game this season, four seconds to go. My incredible header. Goal! <laughs> best card trick ever. Ready? All I need is 14 more decks of cards, 30 pounds of feathers, and an ostrich egg. Um, Gizmo, we don't have any of those things. Okay then, second best card trick ever. Oh! We're all out of oversized bananas and moon rocks. Forget it. Oh, best Superbook trip ever that had a real giant. David and Goliath, best Superbook trip ever that had flaming swords. Whoa! If I just had that ostrich egg. I got it! The battle in heaven with Michael and Lucifer. I know. The best Superbook trip ever. That had what? Nothing. Just the best, most important Superbook adventure ever. What do you think it was? Wow. Just think, Joy, of all the times we've traveled with Superbook, do you think we've even been on the best, most important adventure there is? Superbook's greatest adventure of all time? Maybe we haven't. Superbook! I am taking you to see such things that if you searched all of history, from the time God created people on the earth until now, and searched from one end of the heavens to the other, you would know nothing as great as this has ever been seen or heard before. My geosensors indicate we are in the land of Midian in the year... Well, well, what have we here? Are you travelers who have lost your way? Uh, we have not lost our way. I am programmed to, uh, I mean, uh, well, that is to say that, uh, oh, do you know that you have some fine hay here? <laughs> and here. And here, and, <laughs> you know what? We're not from around here. My name is Chris. This is Joy and Gizmo. I am Moses. Uh, and forgive me, but it appears I had better herd those runaways back to my flock. We will help you! Thank you for your help, children. This is really amazing country. Have you lived here long, Moses? For a good number of years I have lived in Midian. Well, where did you live before this? I lived in Egypt, where I was raised as the son of the Pharaoh. Wait. The pharaoh, as in the king of Egypt kind of pharaoh? Yes. But it was in the time of the old pharaoh. Though I was raised an Egyptian, I am Hebrew by birth. Once I came across an Egyptian taskmaster beating a slave. I tried to stop his hand, but he struggled, and I struck him down. That was another lifetime. Here in Midian I found refuge, and for many years I have lived happily, raising my family and tending my herds. And all the slaves were freed, right? Sadly, no. My people still toil in bondage, but now they bow to a new pharaoh who is even more cruel. Moses? Moses. Moses.
houses. Here I am. Do not draw near this place. Take your sandals off your feet, for the place you stand is holy ground. I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. I am who I am. Is Moses talking to a plant? Shh! Look! The bush is on fire, but it's not burning up. I have seen how my people are suffering as slaves in Egypt. And I have heard them beg for my help because of the way they are being mistreated. I feel sorry for them. Now go, for I am sending you to the Pharaoh. You must lead my people, Israel, out of Egypt. But who am I to go to the king and lead your people out of Egypt? The Pharaoh is a harsh and godless man. Why would he listen to me? I will be with you, and you will know that I am the one who sent you when you worship me on this mountain after you have led my people out of Egypt. But, but suppose they will not believe me or, or listen to my voice. Suppose they say, the Lord has not appeared to you. What is in your hand? A shepherd's staff? Cast it on the ground. <gasps> Did you see that? I must ask Moses to teach me that one. Reach out your hand and take it by the tail. I am not very good with words. I, I never have been, and I'm not now. Even though you have spoken to me, I get tongue-tied, and, and my words get tangled. Who makes a person's mouth? Who decides whether people speak or do not speak, hear or do not hear, see or do not see? Is it not I, the Lord? Now go. When you speak, I will be with you and give you the words to say. Moses! Moses! Aaron, my brother! Oh, it's good to see you again. The most amazing thing has occurred. The Lord spoke to me. He asked me to come meet you. God has told me to go to Egypt and free our people. I fear I will not be able to do what the Lord is requesting of me. and most revered Pharaoh. Two shepherds request an audience. They claim to represent the Hebrew slaves. Shall I send them away? <laughs> no, this amuses me. Show them in. <sighs> Pharaoh will see you. Please try not to track mud in the throne room. Mighty, uh, um, great, Pharaoh. Speak up, insect. <laughs> oh, mighty Pharaoh, thus says the Lord God of Israel, let my people go, that they may hold a feast to me in the wilderness. Who is this Lord, and why should I obey him? I do not know the Lord, nor will I let Israel go. <laughs> I'm guessing that's a no. Get them out of my sight! So they can hold a feast. <laughs> oh, shepherds! 
Pharaoh wishes you to deliver a message to your Hebrew friends. Because of your insolence, he is now increasing the slave's workload. Hmm. Have a nice day. Why have you brought all this trouble on your own people, Lord? Why did you send me? Now you shall see what I will do to Pharaoh. Because of my mighty power, he will let my people go, and he will even chase them out of his country. Again, <clears throat> again we beseech you, O mighty Pharaoh, in the name of the Lord, re release the children of Israel from their bondage. And again, I say no. And you may tell this so-called God, who makes such bold demands, that he has no power in my kingdom. Then, behold! Uh, maybe I should try my magic card shuffle. Magicians. Whoa! <laughs> My court magicians do what your god can do. Whoa, I've never seen a snake swallow another snake before. Out! And tell your people I will never let them go! Pharaoh! The Lord, the God of the Hebrews, has sent me to tell you, let my people go so they can worship me in the wilderness. I warn you, Moses, do not strain my patience or you and your Hebrew vermin will pay the price! Then, let the waters turn to blood! I will bathe in the palace this evening. Will it take? Thus says the Lord, let my people go that they may serve me. Never! Then shall Egypt suffer yet more plagues. Frogs. Lice. Flies. Disease. Boils. Hail. Locusts. of the Eternal Son. Protect us against the torments of this shepherd's God. Okay, that'll teach Ra. Ha, ah, that's better. Oh, hello. Bring 
one more plague on Pharaoh and on Egypt. The Lord will pass through Egypt, and all the firstborn in the land will die. But each house of Israel shall smear lamb's blood on the doorposts as a sign. And the Lord will see the blood of the lamb and will pass over those houses. Even the firstborn of Pharaoh shall perish. No! Get out! Leave my people and take the rest of the Israelites with you! no more, thanks to God and to Moses. He will take us to a new life. Mighty one, why have we let Israel go? Slaves must not give orders to Pharaoh. They must pay for what they have done. <clears throat> Captain, assemble the army. Make ready all the chariots in Egypt. We shall crush these filthy Israelites. And this time, none shall escape! How are we supposed to get to the mountain of God with the Red Sea in our way? Moses knows where he's taking us to, so he must know how we're gonna get there. Moses! Pharaoh is on his way with his army! Have faith! The Lord has a plan! You, uh, wouldn't happen to know what that plan is, would you, Moses? No, not yet. But I do know that God is always with us, and he will show us the way. Look! to go forward, but lift up your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it.
Is that all the Israelites? I sure hope so. Because here comes Pharaoh's army! thought a simple shepherd would be chosen by God to save the Israelites. Chris! It's happening! We're going back! That was... Amazing! The most awesome Superbook adventure ever! Agreed? Agreed! Agreed. But you know what? There was still the best adventure with a giant. And another with flaming swords. Yes, so that means there will still be lots more adventures. I cannot wait. Ooh. Did I say that? We gotta find Superbook and get him to take us on a new adventure. Superbook, where are you? Where Superbook? You can never find him. He just comes when he wants. Hey, Superbook! 